So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to potentially save 40% on 12 months of Adobe Cloud subscription. And you might remember in the last episode, I mentioned that I'm actually gonna leave Adobe Cloud. Now I've been with Adobe since 1994. These are my original two install disks from 1994. This was Windows 3.11, I think, two floppy disks. I don't think it was Windows 95, but these are nearly 30 years old. So that's how long I've been with Adobe. And I'm doing everything now in DaVinci Resolve and a couple of other apps that help me with things like Photoshop and that sort of thing. So I'm ready to leave, but I wanna just show you a trick that I found that potentially could get you some discount. So stick with it. So this is my Adobe project. As you can see, I've not opened anything for ages. I mean, 18 days ago, I opened this one, which was to create my episode to help you transition from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve and a couple of other things, but I've not really opened this for like 11 months now. So it is time to leave. So how do we do that and how do I get you this discount code? Well, what you need to do is go up to your cloud icon here or wherever that is on your Windows machine maybe. And if you click on this icon here, you can go into your account. And in there, you will get a dashboard that shows you your billing and that sort of stuff. So here's my billing and payments. So I'm currently paying £41.62 a month every single month. My next payment is due on March the 13th. Now, if we go to my billing history, we can have a look in here at exactly how much I've paid in the last, uh, I've been with the cloud for nearly 10 years now. So February the 13th, 2023, £41.62. And if we scroll down, every single month I've been paying this. And this goes all the way back to March the 13th, 2014. Now this is an important date. This is the date that I started my Adobe Cloud subscription. When you have an Adobe Cloud subscription, it rolls every 12 months. So every March the 13th, I'm subscribing for another 12 months. It's not a month at a time. So you need to be wary of that if you are thinking of canceling your subscription because there is a fee to pay to roll you over to the end of the following 12 months. I hope that makes sense. But I'm at a point where on March the 13th, 2024, my next 12 month contract rolls. So this is a really good time for me to cancel my subscription. The amount I've paid over all this time, I've actually added all this up, actually comes to 4,100 pounds. That's just under $5,000. So that's a lot of money I've spent. That could have bought me this, which I've got recently. This is the uh, this is the M2 MacBook Pro, and I've just got hold of this. So I'm going to be doing a review of this, looking at DaVinci Resolve and that sort of thing. But that's the sort of figure that I've paid in 10 years on the Creative Cloud. Now, I'm not saying I've not earned good money from having the Adobe services there, but DaVinci Resolve is servicing everything that I need now. So let's have a look at how we get this discount for you. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that this works for everyone, but this was quite interesting when I actually tried to unsubscribe. So I thought I'd record it for you and show you what's going on. So let's go back to the account dashboard. And in here, I can now say manage plan. So I'm gonna click on here. Now, straight away, they're offering me a special offer. So get 25% off your current plan. So they're offering me at £39.95 a month. Now, that is actually only, it's not even £2 a month less than I'm paying at the minute because I don't actually pay £51.98 a month. So I'm not quite sure what that offer is, but I'm going to ignore that one for now. Now, I presume these offers are tailored to me, so this might not work for you, but it's certainly worth a quick check, even just if you're not going to leave, just see if they're offering you something else for another 12 months. All right, I'm actually gonna go down here and end my service. This is how you actually cancel um, the Adobe Cloud. So I'm gonna cancel my plan. And it wants me to put in my password. Okay, so the first thing it asks me is which of this describes your experience? So for me, it's simply too expensive. I don't have a problem with the product. I just feel it's 41 pounds a month. I would rather be given to my children to be quite honest with you. So I'm gonna continue. And can we help you switch products? Uh, I'm gonna say no thanks. So this is the important bit. I will be charged an early cancellation fee of 20 pounds 81. As part of the original subscribed agreement, this fee will apply if you cancel now and end your annual commitment early. So had I done this in a month's time after March the 13th, I would have been charged some sort of fee that would equate to about a year's subscription. So you really need to be wary of this, okay? Every 12 months, it carries on again. So I've done this, this is a good time for me to be leaving. 
So I'm gonna press continue. This to remind me of what I'm gonna lose. So I'm gonna lose Premiere, uh, and After Effects, all that sort of stuff. So let's press continue. Okay, so this is the interesting bit. So what it's doing now is offering me a different plan or it's asking me if I want another deal. So I can start a chat or I can keep the same plan for 40% less. So it's now offering me 25 pound 28 a month, which is actually a pretty good deal. That is, I think the whole Adobe Cloud Suite for 25 pounds 28 a month is a really good deal. But do you know what? Even at 25 pound 28 a month, I really don't care anymore. I'm leaving, so I'm gonna say no thanks. So if you did wanna take advantage of the 40% discount on offer, that's the moment to do it. Don't press no thanks, because then you're gonna start canceling your subscription like I'm gonna do in a minute. And I'm not sure, I can't guarantee this happens to everyone. Like I say, I've been on the Adobe Cloud for nearly 10 years, so it might be specific to me. But I'm just gonna finish this off and just show you that I am actually leaving. It's giving me one last chance. I'm gonna press confirm. And that is 30 years of Adobe. So I've done it, I've actually quit Adobe after a 30 year relationship with this program. It actually feels quite emotional. Um, I've had some great times with it, I've made some great programs, I've had some bad times with it as well, but I am now completely committed to DaVinci Resolve and have been for a long time, as a lot of you know. I can't take advantage of that 40% discount now, so I hope it does work for you. If you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna put some links in the description and maybe a card will appear here somewhere. But in the meanwhile, look after yourselves. I hope that discount works for you and I'll see you in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial very soon.